what exactly is baptism? Well, first let's talk about what baptism is not. Baptism isn't the same thing as being born again. It's not a way to get to heaven and it doesn't make God love you any more than he already does. Baptism is simply a way to let everyone know that you've been born again and you've chosen to follow Jesus. It's pretty simple too. You'll get in some water and a pastor will say a few things. Then they'll dip you under and bring you right back up. That's all there is to it. Now you might be thinking, I would love to tell everyone that I follow Jesus, but why do I go under water? Wouldn't it be easier to tell people with like a megaphone or a giant tattoo on my face? Well, the water is really just a symbol of what happens when we're born again. Going under the water represents our old life being washed away. Coming up out of the water shows that we are starting a new life with Jesus. We do it this way because it's the way Jesus did it. The Bible tells us in Matthew 3.13 how Jesus himself was baptized just like this when he was here on the earth. And since we want to follow Jesus in everything we do, being baptized is an important step to take after we make Jesus our Lord. Think of it like a jersey. When someone is on a sports team, they wear a jersey so that everyone can see which team they're on. When we're born again, we become a part of God's team. But we shouldn't just stop there. Being baptized is like putting on the jersey so everyone can see that we love Jesus and we've chosen to follow him. So if you've been born again and you haven't been baptized yet, what are you waiting for? It's time to put on your jersey and show everyone whose team you're on. Come and see the baptism of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who's the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. This is John the Baptist. Hey! John loved God with his whole heart. Hey, all you! And he told everyone that the Savior of the world was coming soon. Wow! Come on! John baptized people in the Jordan River. Woo and one day, Jesus went to this river to be baptized by John. Hold on. But John tried to talk him out of it. Jesus said, it should be done, for we must carry out all that God requires. Eh, okay. So John baptized Jesus. And as Jesus came out of the water, the heavens opened and John saw the Holy Spirit coming down as a dove and resting on Jesus. A voice from heaven said, this is my dearly loved son who brings me great joy. John knew, without any doubt, that this was the one they had all been waiting for. This was the chosen one of God who would take away the sin of the world.